Pascal. Turn off the light, ha?
But long I remember, we take a bath in the creek. We have a running water on the creek, but back there the water is so clean. Coming from the mountain, yeah. And we have a well that the water is just coming out from the ground. Yeah. Now it's dry. The spring is dry. Maybe it needs to dig to the bottom to get it to find the make it deeper or something? Maybe. So, water... Because there are still some water, but it's not as fast as before. Well, it's probably... Uh, it probably stays underground and it comes up somewhere else. No, because the water... The, you know, when it's raining, there's a lot of uh, clay coming down, like mud. So, the then... Maybe it got buried or something, so it needs to be to be. Maybe, but what I'm saying is it's not coming out there, it's coming out somewhere. It's coming out from the very top of the mountain. Because on the top of the mountain there's some kind of creek, deep, like deep, deep creek. Yeah. The water is right there coming that coming out. We don't have a hot tub like this. <laughs> we have we have a creek, but very clean creek. Sometimes we get our water over there on the, where the water is coming out. We get a clean cloth yeah. and pour it there. We got water. My great grandmother got all of her water up from the spring. From the spring? Yeah, when I was growing up, it was like that. That spring still running down in uh, uh, Harrington Hollow. Right? Yeah. So she pitched the water and carried it for the house? Yeah. She had a spring house on the other side of the road mm -hmm. and she would walk down to get her water. Wow. She didn't have water in the house. She didn't think about getting a bucket, big bucket, so... Yeah, she went down and got her bucket. Uh, I mean to say like a big bucket. Like oh, a, she can't carry no, no. Instead of carrying the train every day, like back home, we have a big bucket, like, uh, a, like a big trash can. She might have. And then put the water in there for the whole, whole day. I know that she had one bucket that she had I'm 
be the last time you got them in. Uh, Probably will, because he's going to remember being caught. Uh, my guess is... I don't think it's going to come back. My guess is, when one of the big roll-up doors was open, he was chasing a bird to eat him. And the bird went into the store, and he went in right after him. And then he just couldn't figure out. I'll pick it out? Yeah. Can't figure out how he got in or how he got in. The bird probably like, ooh, it's so portable here. No. <laughs> Ain't a whole lot in there for him to eat. Oh. Eat, eat. Eat. Can I die? Probably. I mean, there's mice and stuff in the store. There's also little birds in the store. I think, it, I think it needs to get back to its nest. I think it might have eggs on its nest. But the, yeah, when the bird or the hawk gets hungry, it will be flying and can knock down some stuff in the store, huh? It's been, it's been over in the garden. It's been flying around the garden for the last few days. Ah, okay. And all them little sitting birds are all gone. He, well, he got a few of them, I guess the rest of them figured that, uh, you know, living on Section 8 government housing ain't as good as it's supposed to be because they all die and all. He's welcome. That hawk's welcome any time he wants. Oh, yeah. Get rid of all that bird crap on everything. Uh-huh. And squirrels. Now he's got to train the dang women at the register not to feed the birds and the squirrels. Oh, they'll feed them. I told the boss, I said, put them out here pressure washing the bird crap up off the ground. Maybe they'll quit feeding. That's a good idea. So they told him not to feel. Yeah. 